But first, we are working new details on yesterday's tragedy in Westerly. The Target 12 investigators uncovered stunning new details about the suspect, Joseph Giacello, a resident at Babcock Village. Records from a divorce show Giacello was previously admitted to a psychiatric hospital for threatening a murder-suicide. The documents say the threats happened in 2002 and were part of a divorce filing where his ex-wife claimed Giacello was violent during the marriage. Target 12 investigator Tim White is working the details and will have the very latest at 6 o'clock. Meanwhile, police have also released the names of the three women who were shot during yesterday morning's violence. 47-year-old Julie Cardinal of Westerly was found dead at the scene. The injured victims are 38-year-old Robin Moss of Cranston and 66-year-old Donna Thornley of Westerly. And we have team coverage of yesterday's tragedy. Courtney Carter has the details on how the community is coming together to support each other and the victims' families. But first, Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer has the latest on where the investigation stands and what residents of Babcock Village are saying about the terrifying scene. Brittany. Mike Caroline, police tell us this is still a very active investigation. At this hour, they're working to determine why Giacello shot three women and then himself. Earlier, I spoke to a couple who live at Babcock Village. They tell me they heard gunshots. Betty and John Minor recount the horrific moment a 66-year-old man opened fire in the lobby of their assisted living home. I heard what I thought was the Christmas tree bulbs popping out in the hallway and I went out there of course which I shouldn't have done and she was laying on the floor and another lady was bleeding it was just an awful sight it was absolutely horrible something I'll never forget police say Babcock Village resident Joseph Giacello shot and killed 47 year old manager Julie Lynn Cardinal the other shooting victims 38 year old Robin Moss also a manager remains in critical condition 66 year old resident Donna Thornley is in stable condition the miners tell me when they realized what happened they hid in their first floor apartment we were petrified all day long. Nobody knew where the shooter was. You know, they didn't know if he was still in the building or on outside or what, but they eventually went from door to door and they found him. The miners have lived at Babcock for two months and say they are shocked. Still shaken from yesterday, but I'm better. Everybody today thinks it's never going to happen here or to me. You know, anybody's and everybody says that, but it can't. And police tell us they are still investigating Giacello's relationships with the victim. New at 6, how the minors and a close friend are remembering Cardinal. For now, live in Westerly, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News. Police investigate a motive. The Westerly community is trying to wrap their heads around what happened yesterday. And tonight, we're learning more about the victims. At last check, 38-year-old Robin Moss of Cranston, who was a manager at Babcock Village, was in critical condition. 66-year-old Donna Thornley, who lived at the apartment complex, is in stable condition. And sadly, 47-year-old Julie Cardinal, pictured here on the left, was pronounced dead at the scene. Iowa News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us now live in Westerly with the latest. Britain. Mike Caroline, the town is shocked after a man opened fire inside this assisted living facility. Friday, I spoke to people who knew Cardinal and tell me she was well-liked and known in the community. 47-year-old Julie Lynn Cardinal shot and killed two other women injured after police say a Babcock Village resident opened fire in the lobby Thursday. People who knew Cardinal tell me she was a vital part of the Westerly community. She was such a sweet person. We just went in her office about two weeks ago. She's just been a great friend over the years, and we've had a lot of fun. She's just a great, great person, and she's going to be truly missed. Westerly Town Councilor Suzanne Giorno tells me she has known Cardinal for years and saw her on her birthday last week. And didn't know anyone, and she came right over, introduced herself, and it was just instantaneous friendship. It's still really shocking to believe that, you know, her life could be cut so short. Police tell us Cardinal was a manager at the assisted living facility. One of the other shooting victims, 38-year-old Robin Moss, is also a manager and remains in critical condition. The other victim right now that's in the hospital as well, she was another manager over there. So I'm, I'm sure it was probably, you know, the gentleman wasn't happy with what was going on and it was just recent that she started over there. So it's a true shame. And police tell us they are still investigating Giacello's relationships with the victims and a possible motive for the shooting. Live in Westerly, Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.